Well, I had uh, an interesting uh, cigar this week. I guess I've been on a Pepin Garcia roll for the past couple of weeks. I it's hard noticed to go as wrong I was, Pepin Garcia. Uh, I noticed as I was putting the uh, uh, you know putting my notes together uh, and getting ready to smoke this, I was like, oh, this is another Pepin Garcia. Like I think three weeks in a row. <laughs> so uh, I maybe uh, don't worry, AJ. I'm still a fanboy. I'm still mm-hmm. with you, uh, but I'm just taking a little Pepin vacation here. Uh, no, but um, the cigar that I had was the San Cristobal Revelation. Profit. Now, San Cristobal, these are uh, all cigars done by Pepin Garcia Mm -hmm. for the uh, people at um, Ashton. Mm -hmm. So it is a uh, it is a collaboration between Ashton and my father cigars. Okay. And uh, the the brand has been around for a while, but they've added, you know, a couple of different. You know, sort of branches to the tree, as it were, different, uh, you know, different blends and different flavors. They all have a really gorgeous band, one of the prettiest cigar bands out there. It is beautiful. And if I'm not, if I'm not uh, mistaken, when San Cristobal came out, it was just one cigar, wasn't it? It I believe that's right. One cigar for a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, (laughs) after a less expensive Pepin Garcia cigar that uh, he does for Holtz last week called the Old Henry, Uh, I went with a slightly more expensive, uh, uh, what's considered at least to be one of his crowning achievements, which is this San Cristobal Revelation uh, Profit. Um, The Profit's a Robusto, five and uh, a quarter by 54, and it sports a beautiful reddish-brown Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper and a gorgeous, expensive-looking band, as I was mentioning. Uh, There were no pictures of bulldogs on this one, Mm -hmm. although there was a parrot or some kind of a macaw, but it was still very colorful. It's kind of reminded me of the Isle of Fiji rum uh, <laughs> right, right. Uh, 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 bottle. Um, but I digress. It, it's a beautiful band. Uh, binder and filler are all Nicaraguan, and it's being descri- it's described uh, as being medium bodied, which would make it a little lighter than the sort of flagship San Cristobal. Uh, I line. just want to point out. I'm looking at the picture that you have posted on, uh, yeah. on it right now, and that is a boss looking cigar. Oh yeah, it really is. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's uh, it's almost like a milk chocolatey with yeah. a little bit of reddishness to the wrapper, and uh, the band is just gorgeous. Um, so uh, medium bodied, which is what they're saying that it is, uh, would make it a little lighter than the flagship San Cristobal line. The pre light on it was nice, full tobacco notes. Uh, with a lot of um, uh, leather and oak. Uh, I used a punch and my lighter, and I was on my way. Nice Nicaraguan pepper blast to start off, but not too overwhelming. Uh, And when it settled down, I started to get notes of cedar and a very pleasant earthiness, and the flavors were really complex from the very beginning. I've had a number of cigars that have kind of been that way lately, and they're really spoiling me, because you know how some cigars... The complexity doesn't really kick in until about right. the, the second, third or so. Uh, man, this one got complex like right from the get-go, right the and bat. it was uh, it was a really, really wonderful thing. Um, uh, that also gave me the impression that the tobacco is uh, very nicely aged because of that complexity. Uh, I also picked up a subtle but very pleasant citrus note. Uh, burn was good, not razor straight, but very solid. Draw was perfect. As I got into the second third, that citrus really picked up a bit, and uh, it you know, kind of worked like a dancing partner with the pepper. I nice. Guess. Citrus and pepper are very different things, but the way these came together, it really did work, and it was uh, it was very uh, pleasant. I mean, lemon pepper chicken works. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> yes. Uh, cigars seemed to get more and more complex as it smoked. By the final third, a nice creamy sort of a chocolate flavor had entered the mix, and all of the cigars' notes were playing very well together. Uh, the pepper was mostly on the retro hail, which was interesting because I had expected it to ramp back up by the time. I was close to being done, uh, but it was uh, it was more subtle and was on the retro hail. Construction was great overall. I only touched up the burn line once. The ash held on for well over an inch, but I was really afraid that I was pressing my luck, so I, uh, I tipped it off. And that got me to thinking, by the way. The MyCigarShirts.com should do a special Ian edition shirt with a target on it for the ash. <laughs> and you should see when your ash falls how close, like you get points based on where the ash hits your shirt. Right. Don't you think it would be a good idea? Could we, could we just have one that has some like ash stains all yeah. over it already yeah. and then each one has like a, a this was from this score. cigar yeah. and this was from this <laughs> <That's> cigar. <right. laughs> I like that. Uh, construction, as I said, was really good on it. Um, overall, I thought the San Cristobal Revelation Profit was quite good. I, I pegged it at a little more of a medium to full. They were saying, you know, when I looked it up on the website, they were saying it was more medium-bodied. But I definitely 
Definitely thought it was a little north of that. Um, uh-huh. It was about an $8 cigar. Uh, I got it in a sampler, so I probably got it for a little less than that. Um, so let's go with thumbs up. Recommended a solid 5 P to Q. 8 bucks is a... Uh, a little high for a robusto, but I didn't feel like I was overpaying. It would it it felt like it stepped in and and was a solid seven. So I I recommend it. And you know it just just to enjoy the the subtlety of the way that the flavors mixed and combined mm-hmm. from the very beginning, and the, you, you got that sense that it was really very well aged tobacco. I just made for a very pleasant. That smoke. makes me so want one of those. I would do that again. I, I really I really mm-hmm. would. And if it had been six bucks, I'd have been like jumping up and down. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, but but at eight bucks, it it performed about how it needed to. Nice. Was was my take? So.